Good evening. Um, who's well heard of Code Project here? Ooh, okay. So it's about half. Who's gone to an orange site and downloaded some code? <laughs> All right, well, Code Project, we uh, are actually, it's a little known fact, we're from Toronto. It was uh, formed in a small basement out in Etobicoke, and uh, now we're at the offices uh, out near our friend near the Ontario Science Center. Uh, founded in 1999, and we just celebrated our 14th birthday last week, and we have 10 million members. So we are one of the largest coding communities in the world. So uh, initially it was formed as a resource for developers to go and share their code, um, get tips and tricks, uh, an online community for people to gather. So um, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, I would really recommend it. We've gone from a few hundred articles to over 45,000 <coughs> articles. So. Um, most of those, and Sean actually is going to get into some of the content on our site, but I wanted to give you a bit of an overview first. I'm the marketing person, so. <laughs> All right. Um, we also just launched something called Code Project TV. Uh, it's a new initiative, and what we've done is actually created a technical training arm to, uh, as a sister site to Code Project. So uh, the whole idea behind Code Project TV is that we wanted to create an emerging need that we found among developers for short, bite-sized video training. So uh, I don't know how much time everyone has. I know that we don't have a lot of time around our uh, offices, and really, sometimes you just want to get that answer really quick. So it's it's like a technical training video site similar to Code Project. So we're encouraging developers to go online and post small snippets of videos. Um, Free is awesome. There's quite a, there's a few sites, a few videos on there. There's some of like an iTunes model. They're like 99 cents, $1.99, but really we're just wanting people to get out there and share uh, their content. Um, as I said, we invite you to join, make a video to share your skills. We really want developers to get uh, build their presence um, and share their skills. And tonight, if you'd like to send me an email at carry at codeproject.com, you can get a week-long uh, free preview of the site. So we've got about 2,000 videos up there right now? I think so. If you send me an email before tomorrow morning, if you want to get a free preview of the site uh, and check out all the different training, there's videos up there from uh, uh, Roy Oshiro, but I don't know if anyone is familiar with him, uh, Jeff Fritz. Um, we have a few from our own, our own archives as well. So check it out, take a picture, and I'll get you hooked up tomorrow. So I'm going to pass over the microphone to Sean Ewington. He's the content editor for Code Project. Hello, everybody. I'm basically going to be telling you just a bit about what we have available on the site. If you've ever been there before, you know that we have articles. It's our, our bread and butter. Uh, articles are really the primary thing that we have for sharing information about coding. Um, and it could be anything from a WPF beginner's guide, which would be like a step-by-step -step series. It, it's designed to address any level of person. So if you're a beginner, intermediate, and it walks you through everything, all the way from like layout to XAML to commands to data binding and with like a, a whole premise on teaching you as much as possible. It's really what it's all about. Um, we also have a technical blog aggregation. Uh, we created this because we felt there were a lot of really great technical blogs out there that weren't getting enough exposure. So what we can do is you can give us your RSS feed and you can pull in entries that you actually want to share onto Code Project so that you can get a little bit more feedback. Uh, if articles aren't your thing because they're too long, we do have tips and tricks. And that's basically a no-fuss kind of how-to thing of how to do something on Code Project. Uh, it's usually shorter, and it's usually kind of like a how-to guide. And we also have our quick answers, which is just what it sounds like. It's basic Q&A. So if you had a quick question, like if you wanted to know a breakdown of how to make your code more presentable, um, you could ask it there, and they'll give you a brief, but ridiculously thorough response. Uh, we also have a lot of mailouts that we do, but our most popular is the Daily Insider. If uh, the people who have been here before have seen it, they probably really enjoy the quirky taglines that we give our industry news and developer news. Uh, so an industry news example might be, the heading would be, does, your fixing, does fixing Microsoft mean ending Microsoft as we know it? And our goofy tagline would be, sometimes to create, one must first destroy. Yeah. And for our developer news, actually we had one today that was a bit better. I liked it. Uh, the heading would be, if you want to code from home, start learning JavaScript. And the little tagline would be, free yourself from the tyranny of pants. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Sometimes they're a little cheesy, sometimes they're a little hokey, but every time I meet someone in person and they know about Copa, I'm just like, are you the guy that writes those? I'm like, yes, 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 I am. <laughs> but I'm actually not. <laughs> we also share a bunch of stuff on there from our lounge, uh, which is where our community is most of their hanging out. Um, they often sit there, they'll make jokes, they'll talk about what they see in the news, and they get to know each other so well that they start wishing each other a happy birthday. It's a little creepy, and it's... You know, but that's just the way the community is. It's, it's tight-knit, and you'll get things like, today I got an invitation to a wedding. I don't know how I'm going to struggle with that. And a little, a little while ago, we celebrated our 10 million members, and we sent out a series of questions to some of our top ones. And one of the questions we asked was, why is Code Project important to you, and why do you continue to use it today? And it's a little bit long-winded, but bear with me, because he really strikes true of what we're trying to do at Code Project. Code Project has given me so much over the years. I've learned from some of the best minds I've ever come across. I've had a huge amount of interaction with them, and they have become friends. Code Project has provided me with a community of people who challenge, interest, and educate me, and they have made me a better person for this interaction. The articles provide a rich resource and education and interest for me, and it's great to be able to break out of areas I'm comfortable in and have people I respect teach me about something new. If it were only the articles, it would be great, but Code Project also has provided me with the immense satisfaction of being able to help other people with their technology problems through the forums. It's hard to describe just how much pleasure you can derive from the simplest process of helping someone solve a problem. I love that moment when you know that their creative juices are flowing and that they get the answer to something that's been causing them problems for a period of time. The only thing that beats it is when you see someone that you helped nurture start give uh, someone you help nurture, start giving useful answers on their own. How can I walk away from that? And really that's what Code Project is all about. We're all about taking good developers and making them better, and taking the better ones and making them the best they can be. And now I believe we have Kevin, who's going to tell us about some of our contests that we're running at the Code Project. Thank you, Sean. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. It's my uh, first time coming out to the DevTO event. Um, so to steal a line, I'm not a developer, but I play one on TV. Uh, so my job at Code Project is running all our competitions and developer contests that we have going on. Um, it's a pretty exciting job because I get to work with our community of 10 million members. So I just want to tell you a little bit about what we have going on and what, what you guys can do and come take part in our contests. So every month we have, have a monthly article competition. Um, the best part about our community is everything is user generated. So you could go on there tomorrow and, and write an article and next month you might be featured as the top article of the month. Um, there's different categories every month. It's a little bit different depending on how many articles we get in a certain category. But we have a, a bunch of great sponsors and every month the, the community members vote on their favorite articles and the winner will take home some new toys and uh, Code Project swag mugs and mouse pads and things like that. Um, but the best part is, of course, you know, the ego boost and the, bag, the bragging rights that you get out of that. So uh, come check it out and, and write an article and, and see what you can do. Um, but more exciting for me is some of our feature competitions. So in the last um, year, we've run a bunch of contests with sponsors like Microsoft, Intel, Google, and, and guys like that. Um, it's a really neat chance because you get to compete directly against each other and developers from all across the globe. We've got a huge community in India, in China, in Russia, in, in all these different com uh, countries. And you can come and you know test your metal and, and see if you're the best. Right now we have um, uh, a contest going on with Intel, the Intel App Innovation <laughs> Contest. And it's in judging right now, but we had uh, about 800 people sign up for the original contest. You had to submit an idea for a Windows 8 app. And then I had the beautiful job of narrowing that down to 125 finalists. Uh, and we sent that on to Intel. Everyone had to develop their app. Um, and uh, there's over 100,000 in, in prizes right now going on with that. Um, so so no, no new contest starting up until the new year. But uh, it, it's really neat because you get to test out some cutting edge tech. So for this Intel competition, 125 finalists were sent uh, either uh, a Lenovo ThinkPad Tablet 2 or this 27-inch, uh, you can see the picture there, it's a tabletop PC, 
we had to develop a, a game app to, to go on the, the tabletop PC. It was pretty cool because no one else had had it before. So taking part in the contest, you know, you, you'll get your hands on, on some things that people haven't tested. Um, in the last year, we've given about 300,000 in prizes, so there's tons of money to be won. Um, and one of the other great things is to get your app in front of a, a global audience. So a lot of the prizes will give you kind of an incubation startup for your app. You'll get some promo uh, marketing support from some of the sponsors. Um, and it also just gets it in front of their, their tech people. So right now, uh, in this Intel competition, it's Intel judging it. They have offices all over the world, and, and uh, it's going down to about 50 different Intel judges. So, you know, not only are you competing, but it's a good chance to get your app launched and get it seen by kind of a, a global audience. Um, that's about it, but we'd love you guys to come out and try a contest, try your hand at writing an article. Uh, come and give us a visit, codeproject.com. And I'm just going to put it back to Carrie's slide if you want to grab her email there one more time if you guys want to get a free trial for Code Project TV. If you guys have any questions, we'd be happy to take it from you right now.